Okay, so today I wanted to show you how I get a vocal sample and I manipulate it to fit inside the track that I'm working on. So I've done some chopping, some processing, um, and basically changing it around in the arrangement here uh, so it works better in the track. So firstly, this is the vocal sample that I have. You are here to discover the deepest truth about yourself. Okay, and this is it in the context of the track. You are here to discover the deepest truth about yourself. Okay, so what you'll notice first off is I've gone through, I've got some processing, but I'll go through that in a second. Um, I've basically chopped up this vocal to fit better uh, along the track because this was just kind of all happening a bit too fast. So what I've done is I've chopped it into sections like this. You are here to discover the deepest truth about yourself. So I've put huge gaps between it. Um, and that is to fall in line with my sub pad progression and pad. So if I just play the sub pad with it as well. You are here to discover the deepest truth about yourself. So when I then chopped it up, it had obviously huge sections between it, which weren't filled out. So what I've gone and done here is I've added in a stereo delay uh quite wet really let's turn it all off so you can hear it without it and then i'll add them in you are here to discover the deepest truth about yourself so you can hear it's quite dry now there is some extra fades that need to just be put on here as well i've done it on oh, i've done it on this second one here because there was a little tiny click but these ones aren't as obvious, so I still need to go through and clean these up slightly. So you'll see that when I add in the stereo delay, it kind of fills in these gaps. We've got um, a quarter note on the left side and a half note on the right side, so it kind of fills it in with quite a bit of feedback. You are here to discover the deepest truth about yourself. And I've set the feedback so it almost just sort of stops the delay on this one before it comes into this one. So let you let you hear that again. You are here to discover the deepest truth about yourself. So then what I've done is I've added in some reverb. Uh, it's got a length of 3.47 seconds. Quite a bit of reverb in there. This is it with it off. You are here. And this is with it on. You are here to discover the deepest truth. So it kind of gives it some nice ambience there. And then what I've done again is just a little bit of a boost on the top end there. I felt like it just needed a little bit of a, a boost in those higher frequencies to help cut through with the rest of the elements. So this is it with it off. You are here with it on. You are here to discover. So it just kind of brings it forward a little bit in the mix. Again, not a massive amount of processing. It didn't really need it. The vocal sounds nice as it is. And these are generally what I will do with a if I've got a nice vocal sample, a bit of delay, and a bit of reverb, and obviously. Um, setting that up so that it sounds nice in the mix. So if you want to hear it again in the mix, or let me introduce some new elements as well. I've got some pads. You are here to discover the deepest truth about yourself. I'll bring the melody in. You are here to discover Here. 
And then I have gone in and actually just duplicate that across for the next eight bars as well. Now, what I will do earlier on in the track, but I've not got to that point yet, is I will probably chop up little tiny bits of this um, and massively delay and reverb them to create atmospheres from this original uh, vocal. Well, not the original, the one that I've chopped up. Um, and then I might try looking at pitching them higher up or lower in the track to create essentially like different harmonies from that main vocal. So this is how I go about looking, uh, how about I go, how I, how I go about doing vocals uh, in a track for something like this. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you've taken some from it. If you'd like to get more tips and tricks like this, be sure to head over to alanmorrisstudios.com where there is plenty of in-depth tips and tricks like this on all aspects of trans production, start to finish courses, MIDI packs, sample packs, Ableton racks, everything you can think of. So thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.